Today, I'm continuing the journey of talking about Robert Aikman's Cold Hand in Mine story by story, and we are to the fifth story in the collection, which just so happens to be my favorite story in the collection, at least on the first read through, and that is The Hospice. I love a story or a book that starts off with a killer line, and I think this one really qualifies. It was somewhere at the back of beyond. Mayberry would have found it difficult to be more precise. And I just love that line, it was somewhere at the back of beyond, because it's describing Mayberry's current situation, which he is lost. He was on a business trip, he went a different direction, now he is completely lost, he doesn't know where he is. But us knowing what sort of story collection this is, it obviously takes on a different meaning. It's so late that Mayberry becomes desperate to find some place to spend the night, and he finds the hospice, which is the inspiration for the cover illustration of this collection. The hospice is atmospheric perfection. From the moment that Mayberry enters the hospice, things go from strange to stranger. One of the first things that happens is he is shuttled into the dining room because they just started dining service. And during this dining service, it, he becomes aware very quickly that the servers are very insistent that he eat. And this whole time, Mayberry's been looking at the other diners in this situation, and he sees that they are really packing away the food. Even people he doesn't think really should be able to eat as much as they're eating. And so it creates this very strange atmosphere that crescendos in a really interesting way that I don't want to spoil because it is just a fun, strange moment in a story full of them. The facility is very full, so maybe he has to room with another man named Baynard, and Baynard is a very interesting character. Mayberry's stay that night in the hospice is so creepy, so intriguing. One of the great things about the way that this story unfolds is that everything is just slightly over the line of normal. Like most everything you could kind of make an excuse for, or you could kind of understand in the context of what's going on. And certainly Mayberry does. But as things start piling up, you start to get a better picture of something not being right in the hospice. This is one of those stories where I don't wanna to talk too much about it, just simply because I want you to go read it and experience it. If you're all interested in strange fiction or horror, go seek this out. I think it's worth it just to read this one story and get a sense of what Robert Aikman can do. I'll be back next time to talk about the next story in this collection, The Same Dog.